Hi, I'm Dani Zaid and I have a couple of things to tell you today uh, for my upcoming talk on trends. What if I tell you that 56% uh, of consumers globally in the last year have mentioned food as medicine? Yes, this is through uh, social uh, listening tools. And, uh, you know, what does that mean? Okay, so is this a threat to pharmaceutical companies? Well, I'm sure we're, we're not going to get those down because they're so huge and they're making a lot of money. But then again, what is the mind shift here for consumers? They'd rather have their wellness through food. Yeah. What's the implications there? Yeah. Are we looking at consumers shifting to uh, nutrition doctors? Would that be part of um, health insurance? Uh, HR guys, are you seeking uh, more loyalty tools to keep retentions for your employees? Do you want to revise your uh, packages? Okay, we need to think differently, guys. Yeah, this is a time where you no longer have the luxury to sit there and think, okay, we have a bonus, we have da 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 da. Now, things have changed, and not only consumers, but employees, people. Yeah. People needs and wants are so different now. And guys in the food industry, what are you up to? Are you looking into new innovations? And don't get me wrong, I'm not talking here about this is my product, now it's product plus because I added zinc and vitamin C. No, I'm sorry, this is not the way it's gonna work now, yeah? Combinations of food, this is not strawberry dipped in dark chocolate, yeah? There's a whole new superfoods out there and your challenge, and I would, you know, drag in all of your innovation and R&D guys there, is taste. Because while consumers are looking for that alternative meal, whether whatever format that is, okay, from their favorite brand, they're also still looking for taste. So I, I, I told you about the 56%, I'm telling you about around 30% would say, no, if the taste is wrong, I'm not going to pick it up. Yeah, I would rather go for an ODC supplement. Yeah, so I'm predicting that the taste palette for consumers is going to fundamentally change forever. Yeah, we have included in our diet in the last two years ingredients that it was never in the kitchen. It was never in the mindset. We didn't know. I, for one, I'm, I'm doing turmeric tea which I have to add freshly ground pep, black pepper to it to activate the ingredients. This is something like, I, I didn't know that, not really, but now with all the COVID, it now like, it tastes like, you know, my regular tea that I, I, I can take during the day. Absolutely no issues there. But what is the implications for you as a manufacturer? And innovation takes time. And if you need to, um, you know, invest in, invest in CapEx, yeah, the route to market have changed. Retail, whether physical retail or e-commerce trade. I mean, I can I can speak forever. Guys, you're you're in the um, restaurant business. We have like every other day. I have these, you know, uh, uh, ads about new restaurants opening up. What is the future menu? How are you going to compete? I'm sorry, you 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 can just launch burgers. You know, even burgers are not like it's plant based burgers now. You think that this is very far away from our markets, and I'm talking EMEA here, by the way. No, it's not. It's not a, a solo thing, because from conversations and surveys and research with consumers in the last two years, these have become not niche, they become conversations, mainstreams and discussions. And if you wanna be ahead of the game, this is the time to get the thinking running. Uh, now, this session is really designed for uh, directors and above, so mainly board members, CEOs across EMEA who want to grow the business, fast moving, and um, there's a, a lot of work on uh, retail as well. But also, and some people ask me why I'm, I'm putting in the, the fees very low, because I'd like entrepreneurs and startups to also join. They probably don't have access to a lot of research, but honestly, the mindset of, hey, I have an idea, let's just launch and see how it goes. That does not really work for me. I mean, at least this is my advice for you as a startup. So maybe if you join, you can get some thinking what is happening out there in the world, whether you want to expand in Egypt or in, 
in EMEA, it's happening very, very fast. Sorry, the video is a bit long. I usually do shorter than that, but I'd love to see you on uh, February 10th. It's going to be 3 p.m. for two hours, Cairo local time. It's in English, okay? And uh, you can book online and registration is closed on Wednesday. So 24 hours before um, the date of the event. Love you, but leave you.